Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 23 of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. 535 and code and decode tiny URL. I feel like we haven't done it hard in a while. People on my Discord have been saying, or me as well, probably, but I haven't remembered. Okay, so tiny URL, okay, blah, blah, blah. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, so yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Did I say that already? I don't know. If not, then hit it again and join again or whatever. Um, hmm. This is kind of a weird problem because it's not really uh, an API problem per se, right? Like these kind, this is almost, um, and I might have said it in the past, I don't remember if I ha have a video on this. I probably do. If I do, check that out maybe. But this is more like a system design problem, right? And as a system design problem, there are a lot of nuances that goes into just um, making a surface that has um, an API or an abstraction uh, with an endpoint, right? So, like, so to that to that point, uh, it's kind of weird because, like, you can do anything. Like, maybe, oh, actually, uh, I just noticed this part. I actually skipped it or well, didn't see it. Uh, but in either case, right? So this is a system design problem. So. So in a way, um, I don't know that you're going to get this as a programming exercise, uh, or at least not uh, a live programming interview, right? Like maybe it could be a take home and be like, oh, you have this thing. How do you design this to be scalable? And of course, that uh, you know that that sentence is easier said, and it's really hard to kind of. See, or it's not really hard. But people have done it, obviously, but. It's it's hard to um, do it by yourself in the sense that it is meant to be a communication thing with system design. And maybe one day I'll do a system design video. Let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested. But basically, the idea is that, you know, the, um, for me, the thing that I always say about system design is that it's not necessarily the answer. Of course, you ha you want to know the answer as well. But but it's about knowing the question, right? It's about knowing what to ask and things to consider, things to look out for, things to worry about. Um, and those things will kind of add up to be what system design is like. And of course, the you know the answers of those, to those questions are important as well. Um, but it's less important in the sense that you can look it up uh, or, you, you know, you find someone that's more of a domain expert with respect to the read-write access patterns and stuff like that. But um, I'm not going to go over it that deeply per se, but there are a couple of things that I would say if I was doing this as a system design. I don't want to make this a long video also because I'm a little hungry, so I'm going to go get food right afterwards. But, but the thing that I would say is maybe like look at, uh, one, look up the, or, or consider the, the access patterns, right? This is probably going to be, um, mm, there are a couple of things you need to consider, right? Like it, it's probably going to have more, well, I mean, it, mm, I guess it doesn't have to be, but it probably have go, is going to have more reads than writes. Um, writes, however, you have some like mm, sort of automaticity that, that uh, probably that you need, meaning that it has to be uh, unique, right? You don't want to create the same encoding, for example, for multiple uh, things and also maybe as a side thing you can also have the same URL map to the same short URL just so that you don't keep on creating the the, the same short URL but that might not be uh, that might be a product question for example right because because it could be that you want a different short URL for the same URL so that you can track it differently like for literally for tracking purposes for a different source or something like that. So that could be a thing. That's a product question. That's a product decision. Um, and then even on the read part, right, there, there are a lot of like, you know, standard scalability techniques. I'm not going to go into it with respect to just like uh, distributed uh, 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 or consistent hashing, distributed stuff. If you talk about a cap, if you like, um, you want to talk about, um, you know, the trade-offs and stuff like that with respect to caching, um, probably distributed caching. And, and then, you you know, you may even want to talk about hot sectors or hot, uh, hot machines. Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm, I haven't studied or anything. So, so these are off my head. So I may, my terminology may be a little bit off because it's been a while. But yeah, like you have hot uh, machines, you have hot uh, things because maybe certain, uh, certain, um, certain URLs, like maybe there's a, a, a 
a sort of a what's that distribution call? Oh my god, like Binet's uh, number or something like that, or or uh, uh, but basically there's like this uh, inverse exponential distribution or whatever, uh, right? Where like most of the the links will be on I don't know, and right? Th these are things that you also find out from looking at the uh, distribution of the traffic patterns. Uh, in that case, how do we take care of hot sectors? How do we distribute the load as best as we can on the hot machine? Do we handle it any differently? How do how do um, how do uh, what do we call it? instrumentation and metrics look for like if we like we said well, let's say we want to track. Uh, how many people or who are the people or you know these things for the short URL how how do you like uh, in that case how do you do distributed uh, distributed logging how do you do logging in a good way how do you uh, you know ha have offline uh, analysis uh, with you know maybe Hive or or another Apache you know big data type thing right there's a lot of things you can go with and I'm like just kind of uh, 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 rambling on a little bit and if those words mean nothing to you that's fine uh, but these are things that I mean they're more and I could kind of probably keep on going on as a product thing because you can probably draw like everything and uh, honestly also one one of my thing is that uh, when I get these system design interviews I actually uh, have some trouble with it only because I have too many things to to possibly kind of design uh, and, and I, I need to be me personally need to be better about the communication of okay what is the scope that uh, the interviewer wants because i can actually go all day i have i have maybe i have too much experience in that respect in that like i can talk about like the offline shipping the logging I, all these things um even for example you you, you may uh, look at some of these things as a black box but even distributed logging or distributed tracing all these things have um uh uh have uh, what you might call it, a single point of failure is we don't use the right way because like for example Kafka uh hmm, what was the older version maybe six or seven I don't remember the Kafka version numbers uh which is maybe good like have single point of failures and Kafka 8 is a little bit better and there's you know at least once and most once you know some of it was a lie in the past and exactly once right so there's stuff like that and then um and that's just like about logging right and then you can even talk about like um, things to, uh, of an asynchronous nature like you could talk about maybe even like a queue task uh, type of distributed structure where uh, you have a distributed queue obviously in that sense and a distributed task and workers where you know maybe maybe every time I hit up a short URL it does a reverse geocode um, to look into from where what country I'm from or something like that right this is just all stat stuff and maybe uh, you know, if you if you Google or something, maybe you have like a cookie or or, or something that you know you want to do a lot of uh, collation on, right? Um, so there are a lot of things you can do, and you can really go down rabbit hole and, uh, to really build out a system and really build out what it means to have a tiny URL or um, on encoding or decoding. I mean, encoding is just like a create, and decoding is just like a you know, right? Uh, so obviously, all that said, I don't know how long have I been talking? I've been talking for about uh, uh, maybe five, ten minutes, right? And I didn't even really talk about any solutions. I'm just talking about different paths that you can go for system design, right? And they're definitely like you can focus on some and focus on others, um, depending on what the interviewer wants and what level you're interviewing, etc. Um, with all that being said, uh, so yeah, so this is going to be kind of useless. So. Uh, so yeah, so I mean, it, it really, uh, yeah, I mean, you can do it other way. Um, yeah, you, so there are definitely ways you can do it, uh, but it really just doesn't really make sense as a coding problem, only because like, I don't know, what you can do, have a calendar and a lookup table and you just keep on adding and, and a reverse lookup table or something like that, but of course, the problem is, uh, or, or, I mean, that, that, that'll be fine for this problem, I mean, a lot of things can be fine for this form, but then you're uh, when you get too big, then you know, like when things don't fit in one machine, that's when you know we talk about system design, right? And uh, and yeah, and it, and then and we haven't even talked about uh, uh, a lot of different things with, with respect to latency and how to do distributed cache. And, uh, okay. Anyway, like I said, I could ramble on all day about system design. Um, it, there are a lot of different places and design decisions. Um, they already gave you the API, which is, I guess, pretty straightforward. So yeah, um, 
that's all I really have to say. I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit lazy today because, like I said, there are a lot of ways you can do it, but uh, but I'm just gonna be lazy and just make it a one to one mapping. Uh, wow, the link could be really long actually. But uh, but yeah, let's give it a submit. Oh, I haven't done this twice. <clears throat> So yeah, so let me know what you think. Let me know what your comments are. And yeah, I mean, this isn't that interesting of an actual, you know, coding problem. I mean, it could be interesting, but even on a system design, I mean, not necessarily system design, but like even if you code this out in a system design friendly kind of way, uh, meaning you want to show the scalability, that's actually a fun project that I always recommend, right? So that, that's one thing that I always say about system design and the best way to practice it is to take something, take a service or something that you like, and it could be any, I don't have my phone with me, so I was looking at my phone, but like take a random app that you, you like and then just design it, tape yourself designing it and then watch yourself afterwards and see if, you know, see what's up. Um, like see where you're lacking, see what you forgot to mention and stuff like that. Uh, so there are a lot of stuff. I see that this has a lot of downloads probably for that reason. But yeah, um, come to my Discord if you're interested in system design. I can talk about a lot of stuff all day. There are a lot of things, you know, and like I said, I, I don't, for me, the question is mo the most interesting part of uh, system design and trying to figure out is where, you know, uh, your experience comes in. So it's really hard to um, fake that because uh, I mean, people do nowadays, and I think system design has kind of be, become an uh, interview has become more standard. But I think like when I was younger, that was not the case because I feel like a lot of the questions you ask is because uh, uh, no one had that experience, uh, or not no one, but like very few. And the, the things that I've learned uh, are from seeing things fail in real time and everything. Uh, you know, there was an outage or. Uh, everything failed and that's how I learned my lessons the hard way so uh, I don't know so yeah um, cool that's really all I have let me know what you think uh, like I said but it's Friday or Saturday maybe depending on where you are so have a great weekend hope you had a great week uh, stay good stay healthy to good mental health I'll see you later and take care uh, bye bye <laughs>